Good day to you all. Here is a message for commanders in the British Army. The recent, recent proposal involving an outrageous coup by British Army General Anonymous was, fortuitously, roundly condemned by British politicians, a majority of the media and millions of the electorate. The universal consensus, thankfully, was disapproval and quite rightly so. The General's misguided belief that he could forcefully, forcefully remove Jeremy Corbyn if Corbyn was elected as Prime Minister and therefore ride roughshod over Parliament was extraordinarily arrogant and foolhardy. By declaring war, yes war, on millions of Labour supporters, he would be held responsible for sowing seeds of havoc and possibly civil war. There have been numerous world coups in the past, of course, and that in Burkina Faso comes immediately to mind. Like the people of Burkina Faso, millions in Britain would activate the citizen's broom, sweeping this projected evil from our streets before it took root. This would send a clear message to the appalling General Anonymous and any other military-minded person who arrogantly believed that he or she could usurp Parliament and the will of the people. Moreover, the use of force against us would quite naturally awaken an alternative opposition as well as barricaded resistance. A situation none of us would encourage or want. So think again, think again, General Anonymous. You would be wise to contemplate peace and democratic harmony and reject conflict, something that could trigger violence, bloodshedding and massive unrest on our streets. No, General Anonymous, think and think again. Here is a message for General Anonymous, just in case he is watching. We will not allow it to happen. We will not allow your arrogant and distorted view of democracy to happen. We will rebuff you and your army, if necessary, with like for like, but only as a last resort. Therefore, Think again, think again, General Anonymous. Good day to you all. Peace be with you and thank you for listening.